Andy Cohen don't like this shit. I love Milani. Ray Petty. Monique. Candace, have you ever been in a fight before? We too old to be fighting. There are people I want to whoop their ass. Okay. Damn. There's not enough of us on television. So, bitch, I live for that. Ain't no need to talk about all these other kids. But, all right, y'all, let's get to it. Real Housewives of Potomac, season five, episode nine. The tipping point. Ooh, the hair flip. Ooh. Oh, shit. Monique is grabbing onto her hair and not letting her go and slapping her. She, her, her mouth is bleeding. Monique, let her go. You gotta tickle her, security. Who's yelling to stop like that? What happened? The whole building? Wait, she just tried to fix her hair. What the f just happened? Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Ashley was in the bathroom. Now she's trying to fight the producer to get back out there? She came running around the other side. So, Monique, you just tried to fight me. No, girl, she did fight you. Tell your man the truth. Listen, if I was doing recaps last season, I probably would have said I would have beat Candace's ass, too. But I don't know if I would have done it on national television. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. Um, there are people I want to whoop their ass. But you know, like, there's so much to lose nowadays. Like, we can't be doing that. Damn. It's like, I get it, but, like, I don't get it. I'm telling you right now. I don't whoop my ass. I don't want you talking like this right now. Just get in the car and get home. Right. Carrie. Um, Carrie trying to save her a spot on this show. Andy Cohen don't like this shit. Look what happened with Portia. You start fighting and you repeatedly say you're going to fight, he's going to kick you off the show. You got to go the Tammy Roman route where you're like, I was defending myself. She got in my face, so I was worried. Wendy over here looking like, y'all, I'm a classy ass woman on CNN. What the fuck are y'all doing? Don't fuck with my money. Okay, look, my views on the fight is that uh, we too old to be fighting on camera. But some people do deserve to get their ass whooped. But also, I would think at this age that people wouldn't talk like Candace do because they know that they can get their ass whooped um, as a child. And somebody would have put them in their place earlier. But, you know, they haven't. You know, it looks, it sounds like I'm going back and forth. But I don't condone fighting on national television for sure. Also, don't condone fighting in the street. But I don't condone people speaking like Candace speaks either. So. But now it's like, see, that's why we don't give people like that a seat at the table. I Damn, all of this she's thing. right. That's you know what the problem is, is that there's so few black women on television and the examples that we get are always this like fighting and bickering with one another. We eat it up. We can't turn from the car crash. But for other people who don't know us for real, that's it. I'll never forget one of my coworkers. She's Dominican. One of her Dominican cousins came to um, Washington Heights, obviously, but came to New York and she was like how she doesn't talk to black people. She's like scared of them. She thinks they're dirty and they're dingy because she gets U.S. news. And when she sees U.S. news, the only thing that she sees are black people fighting, robbing, shooting, stealing, all of this shit. And the television that she sees is all black people going at it. That's her only views. So when she comes up here and she sees black people in the street, she's like, nah, we don't fuck with them. We don't see it as much. I'm over here like, yeah, this bitch deserves to get her ass whipped. I don't really mean that also. But like, we don't understand the repercussions of that action. And it's unfortunate that we have so much weight on our back to consider representing for all black women. But the unfortunate truth is there's not enough of us on television. So this show is not only a representation of housewives in Potomac, it's a representation of black women because there are only two franchises that show us. So unfortunately, both franchises have had issues of violence. And I know for sure, Jersey, Beverly Hills. There have been other franchises, fucking New York. There have been other franchises that have had violence, but you know what doesn't happen there? People don't say, look at those white women. Look how white women act. Because there's so many other views, so many other images and portrayals of white women on television that you don't see this one image and you assume it's the whole. But unfortunately, with so few, this is a representation. Candace is annoying as hell. Ooh, Robin, you look she good here. About Candace. You not, you not in that much pain. I hate to ask these petty questions, but Candace, have you ever been in a fight before? This is a bad fucking example to do here, but here we are. I don't know if y'all ever done like pole dancing classes, right? You're like, damn, my fucking thighs hurt. How is this bitch going up and down this hard ass metal pole and like pulling her skin against the pole? But it don't hurt because they done done it so many times. It's the same thing with like getting hit. After your first hit, it's like, I can eat those. Your body reacts to it and it's like, I don't need that. Candace, if this your first time, you in pain pain. But otherwise, 
she was smacking you. She had your head was smacking. I'm not making excuses, by the way. You fight the hardest with these people you've had relationships with. Like, I'm not fighting with no Joe Schmo in the street and like giving a fuck about that. For what? I mean, also, I'm not fighting with my friends. But that's what hits harder. No pun intended. That's what, um, that's what affects you more. Because it's someone you had an existing relationship with. That's why Monique was so hurt at the comment she was making. It's like, girl, we were friends. And you over here acting like this? What are you Not showing? caring with Show the new guys. That fight, we totally forgot what Ashley was telling us about Michael. <laughs> Yo, older black men do not care. Ray is like, so did he say he was gay too? Ray just said the reason he didn't have sex with her is because he's gay. He couldn't get it up. <laughs> Ray Petty, this is why he ain't caring work. Sidebar. So people were commenting on my original that catch up and talking about Jamal. So I started like looking into it. I didn't realize all of that. I don't know how much of it is true, but if the girls are reading this, I can understand. But damn, that's crazy that they have to stay in a hotel because they don't fuck with their mom's boyfriend who's their dad. I love Giselle's dad. I love Milani. And she literally talks crazy to everybody. And it's she like... Does. Chris is so disappointed. It's so interesting to hear the different perspectives of these two ladies. I kind of get both of them. But damn, this is... Oh my God. All right, if y'all are here for Potomac, y'all don't even know about my pause game on Married at First Sight reviews. I always pause at the best moments. Look at this little cute scene. I don't know if we've ever seen a black mom doing a black daughter's hair in the sink, something that we all know very well. But again, this goes back to representation. We don't have many images of this. So Monique, look at this little cutie moment. How cute is this little moment and how perfectly represented? Look at this, Monique, black mom, doing the hair. Melania's like, mommy, this hurts, but I love this moment for us. It's like a bonding moment. Oh. Oh. Grace looked just like a yeah, brown skin Giselle. He didn't even come to the wedding. Wait, wait, so Jamal cheated while they were engaged. And he cheated when they got married. And he oh. Giselle keep talking about marrying this man like she really in this. We've both done some things in our relationship that have contributed to us getting to this point. When did you Excuse start me? to feel it? Ashley, what did you do to make this man cheat? Well, are you going to be disciplined enough? <laughs> Come on, yeah, this makes know, Michael just... so uncomfortable and I love it. Hold these cheaters accountable on national television. Doing a post-nuptial agreement. <sighs> Bitch, I live for that. I, listen, I don't know how much money I'm gonna have if, if when I get married, but we signing a prenup and guess what's gonna be in the fine print under your shit? <laughs> if you cheat, nigga, that's what I'm gonna take. Everything else, you good. Take your money, I'm gonna take my money, don't touch my shit, we lit. Unless I find out you cheating. And I'm gonna find out. You know what's crazy about this though? Is that Ashley feels she has to have this. A lot of reasons people are against prenups because they think they're a setup for if something goes wrong. Like, oh, you're only creating this prenup because you're thinking, oh, if or when we get divorced, here's the things that we need to lay out. So this postnup is here because Ashley is like, should you cheat again? That's in her mind. She's always going to be thinking about that. And she's like, I don't got confidence enough that you would not do this again. So guess what? Let's put some dollars behind it. Cause if you do, trust and believe, I'm the fuck out. If Michael, if you need that to stay faithful in your marriage, you deserve to lose that money. I decided I'm not speaking on children that I, I did not give birth to because it's not fair to them or their mothers. Facts. Ain't no need to talk about all these other kids. But I will say, is he getting them restaurants too? Or is this his way of showing you how much he loves you and the girls? This is why I didn't want to do Potomac because I felt like I was like gossipy or some shit. I don't like that. So oh, I'm gonna try to break this as, as much as possible because we are uplifting only, hopefully. Are you in love with Karen? I think I am. You know what the problem is here is that men who get in relationships with these women and the, they're the breadwinners. As soon as that woman starts to have her own, they don't have her all to themselves anymore. It's the same thing as if it was reversed. One person retires, then they want all the attention. Things have shifted and things have changed. And these partners are not used to that. That part is normal. The abnormal part is you saying you're not sure if you're in love with your wife. I don't know who's who yet, but one of the twins 
You know, it's probably the one who was at the table on the boats who said, I'm really excited about this. She got it. Here she goes. Yeah, you know, this guy's got six, seven baby mamas. You know, that's 